YTBC what's the deal so the weigh-ins are in Charles Martin weighs in at 249 pounds and Czar Glasgow weighs in at 218 pounds Glasgow is pretty much right where you know he's usually at 218 221 219 is in there Martin's coming in at 249 is his highest weight of his career his second highest weight was his last fight against Vicente Sandez. That fight is on YouTube. Um, he looked good in those fights. 240, 243, you know, 247, 249. I'm fine with those weights. I would like to him to come in more of 238. That's the fight I thought uh, he looked very impressive in the Joey Dueco fight. Um, but he's six foot five. You know, Lennox used to come in at six, you know, at 250 around there. So I think he can carry it. Um, so he, you know, he's, he's a big man. I could see if he was sick, if he was a uh, five ten or something like that. But I think this weight is fine for him. Eighty inch reach, uh, glass call for seventy five inch reach. Now I've watched a lot of these guys fights. Um, glass golf, you know, the highly you know touted amateur fighter made it to Olympics. I believe he won a bronze in the Olympics. Um, when you look at the resume of his professional career and the amateur background. You have to give Glasgow the edge as far as his experience goes. Um, but in a few of his fights, I thought he lost the fights, you know, but he got the decision and he got a draw with the other one. Stephen Cunningham, I thought Cunningham had a big lead in the early part of that fight. You can say that Glasgow maybe probably got the last few rounds of the fight, probably out hustled him, but I thought Cunningham had a lead. He's just, you know, out working him, using his jab landing more combinations more shots on so i thought he won that fight then the malik scott fight i thought he got clearly outboxed in that fight out hustled malik scott was more aggressive than he usually is in his fights and i thought he won that fight you know so um the adamic fight you know obviously i thought glasgow won that fight but in that fight adamic had his chances he was able to back glasgow up glasgow would um you know, he would just throw up the high guard and let Adamat get off. He was getting walked back a few times in that fight. He chose to be the counter puncher. Um, but, you know, no disrespect to Adamat. That's, you know, he's a former two division, you know, world titleist. But you just don't want to see a guy that's supposed to be up and coming heavyweight getting walked backwards by a former light heavyweight um, that's 38 years old. You know, then the Derrick Rossi fight, another fight that was hard to, to you know, pick a winner in that fight. Rossi had his moments. He was out jabbing him. He would walk Glasgow down, you know, when Glasgow gave him the opportunity. But Glasgow usually wants to come forward and walk you down, use a high guard, use his hand speed. He will move his head. You know, he's not the typical guy that just puts up the high guard like a lot of these heavyweights do and just, you know, let you get off five or six shots and then come out of a shell and start the fight back. He, he will move, you know, parry with the punch, come back with his punch roll and duck he does have the basics down he is a fundamentally sound uh heavyweight with the basics he has it down he has good hand speed um he's solid he's a solid heavyweight but that's all i think of him just a solid heavyweight i really don't see him as a top heavyweight i know box rec has him rated number six now i could just be uh, highly underrating this guy you know but i just thought he's lost about two or three times already you know what i mean not that a loss will hurt your career but i don't see him as this undefeated fighter um i watched the uh now i noticed that he went he went you know he fought some european level guys like dennis boktoff and constantine erich guys like that um he went the distance with those guys uh those guys are tough european journeyman type level guys you know boktoff's been in there with arnold jarek jai and houston off and um joshua and emmanuel char guys like that Eric's been in there with the same guys, Yusinoff and Granat and Char and Joshua, Wok. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Glaskov resume is a lot better. Even, you know, it's just a lot deeper than Charles Martin. So using a situation like this, I would usually go with the guy that has the better experience and the better record. But I believe the 31-pound difference will come into play. I believe the five-inch uh, reach advantage will come into play. And I think Charles Martin is very hungry. He hasn't had his opportunity. This is his first big opportunity. Uh, his best win, I believe, is against Joey Dueco. Some of you may disagree, you know, but I think Joey Dueco is his best win as far as name. Uh, the Glendy Hernandez performance was pretty impressive. The uh, Zubano Love stoppage in the 10th round was impressive. That was impressive because 
Martin picked up the work rate in that 10th round and he was throwing a lot of shots and he was throwing the shots but he was placing hard shots Glasgow on the other hand has a tendency to fight at one speed he's just one level when I watch him hit the mitts when I watch him shadow box when I watch him um go off his back foot when I watch him come forward everything's just at the same speed where he throws everything not with bad murderous intentions but he does throw things um to hurt you so he doesn't overextend on his shots you know what I'm saying um he keeps a good technique I think he's basic with his fundamentals but the thing with Charles Martin is um he knows how to place his shots he doesn't fight at one speed sometimes you know he'll fight at a quick fast sharp speed and sometimes he'll sit there and bang it out and air it out with you uh, but he can switch it up he's more dynamic and I think the size difference is going to be uh, telling in this fight um, but yeah in that Zubano love fight Martin was able to stop him in the 10th by placing shots and keeping a high work rate on him the Vicente Sanders fight it was a slow pace fight but he was able to place his left hand and he was able to uh, set up his left hand by using his jab upstairs, downstairs. You know, he, Martin is a very smart fighter. He knows how to use his jab. He just isn't out there throwing punches for the hell of it. He has good feet for a man his size. Um, I forget which fight it was, but somebody threw a shot. And instead of just doing a regular pull counter when you pull back and then come back with your shot, he kind of jumped back and pulled back and then came back with the straight left hand and dropped him. I believe that was the Sandez fight. I'm not, I can't, I'm not sure. But um, Dueco, he caught Dueco with a nice right hand. Uh, Dueco wasn't expecting it. Caught him with two good right hands. One put him down. I think they called it a slip. And then the one in the, I believe the fourth or third that put him down hurt him real bad. Um, and Dueco got up and fought on. Dueco's tough. But who else did Charles Martin beat? Beat Tom Dallas. Some of you UK fans know Tom Dallas. Um, and Tom Dallas tried to come back after two years of being off and got starched um, against Martin. But. You know, I would usually go with a guy like Glasgow because of his resume, but I'm going to go with Martin because of the size, the just different dynamic that he brings to the ring against Glasgow. And Glasgow usually gets stuck sometime when he gets in there with somebody that brings a different dynamic, like a Stephen Cunningham. Even a guy he fought, I seen he fought a guy on four days notice named Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson is a five foot eight, 204 pound uh, cruiserweight. But he fought at heavyweight for this fight on four pound on four round uh, four days notice, and he was giving Glasgow some trouble. That fight is on YouTube. Go check it out. Garrett Wilson looked like Sam Langford in there as far as just the uh, size differential and the way he was jabbing up and throwing quick combinations. I was like, damn. But even Garrett Wilson was keeping Glasgow at bay. Now you can argue that Garrett Wilson is just a tough dude, though. You know, he's a tough individual. Also, he's only been. Uh, he got stopped only one other time but Garrett Wilson is a lot tougher than uh you may think but at the end of the day if you a guy that's want to be the heavyweight champion of the world you have to be able to take out guys like Garrett Wilson no disrespect to Garrett Wilson but I just see Charles Mark winning this fight I think he is a true heavyweight and Glasgow is a heavyweight too he's a man over 200 pounds but I think Charles Martin is more of the modern day um the guys that the guys that are in the landscape, I think he's he fits that mold perfectly. I'm gonna go with Charles Martin in this fight. Um, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the underdog in this one. Glasgow is a minus 160 in this fight, so he is a slight favorite. Uh, you round it up, he's a two to one slight favorite. So I'm gonna go against the grain on this one to go with Charles Martin. I got my last one wrong with uh, Klitschko and Fury. I went with the guy who I thought bet, had the better pedigree, the better uh, resume, fought the better fighters, which was Klitschko. And I was wrong. So in this fight, a guy that has a better uh, pedigree and resume, I believe, is Glasgow. But I think the size, just like Fury and his awkwardness, was able to control Vladimir in the fight. I think Charles Martin would be able to control this fight. Um, and I think a right hook may be a punch that Glasgow maybe he might get hit with that he's not going to see coming because I think he's going to be anticipating the the left. But even if they try to just jab and box each other. Although Glaskov has the better amateur uh, pedigree, I think Charles Martin has picked up a lot from in that uh, American heavyweight camp out in Carson that also produced uh, Dominic Brazil and a few other heavyweights. I think he's picked up enough. He's been fighting for 10 years, so it's not like he just picked, you know, fighting up three or four years ago. He got serious at, uh, six years ago, but I mean, he's been fighting since he was 19, 18 years old. So I'm going to go with Charles Martin this one for the upset. YTBC.
I'm out.